Good morning. Today is October 2nd, 2022. And today, I'm going to show you how the computer is wrong. I was going to put this uh, game later on in the month. But uh, this basically prohaha regarding uh, Magnus Carlsen and Hans Niemann basically saying, oh, it's he cheats that basically I'm going to show you how humans and computer thinks differently and there are things that me as a human do that computers will think will think like as wrong where the computer says oh this is objectively correct but I don't care about objectively correct I care about art I care about beauty in the moves so this is one of those things. Let me show you real quick. There's no puzzle today. I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, like a, a quick game over here. And I'm going to show you certain positions where computer analyzes differently than what I analyze it. And yes, this is part of the good uh, games over here. So here's uh, move number one. I just move uh, the pawn to, eight, uh, to A5. And the computer says, no, that's wrong. And you can tell the evaluation before. This is minus 5, which, and this is gone. Like, all advantages is gone. But this is very uh, aggressive move, like a poison move, like one of those things over here. I'll show you later. Here's the next one. That uh, I moved the knight from e7 to f5. And the counter mark that as uh, not as efficient as it could be. The counter actually that, uh, suggested bishop takes bishop over here, like over here, bishop take bishop. And I don't want to do that because if I do it this way, I have like all different possibilities that I can do. So, right now, all the squares are covered by the pawn and the knight, but things change, so so that's uh, second position that I differ. Uh, here's another thing over here. So, I took it with the king, computer suggested to take it with the knight, and again, I disagree with that one, because you know, like I said, I want to have attacking possibilities right here. I don't want to defend, I want to attack. So this is objectively like minus 0 0.2, but yeah, I disagree with the computer at this point. Uh, another one right here, over here. Take this one over here. Now the computer actually suggested this move, which is my next move right here, uh, bishop f4. So, so when I do this, computer says, "Oh, don't do that." When at this point in here, put it over there and threaten that one. But I think it's rather premature. So, again, you know, ob uh, objectively, yeah, like uh, objectively incorrect or something, but thing is, a lot of things that I do are very forcing, kind of like a bluff or something, but like very aggressive attack that what has to respond. So, uh, it's basically kind of unnerving white player over here. And the truth is, by the time it gets to this point right here, white resign. What is that? Uh, there's several move over here that I'm doing over here, but there's just speculation over there. So anyway, let's begin. This is the first move right here. This is the first move that I'm doing. And the opening is pretty usual uh, from this point. That one's unusual though, uh, but you know, basically, White wants to castle, and I'll get back to this later. White wants to castle, so 
put some over there because this square is taken up by the queen. So next move. And I guess basically uh, you can tell that yes, this is uh, slow development time. Uh, white has really active pieces, uh, so what has initiative right now? Interestingly enough, look at that. Uh, the fellow says I'm winning. So this is extremely solid position over here. But uh, white, you know, basically does not have any good structure at this point. It basically chip attacks because you know this chip attacks this uh, chip attacks uh, easily defended no problem like that one yeah uh, basically push the net back and this is dubious move right dubious move but I don't think of it as a dubious move this move I think of it as a investment of the future now the point of it here is that uh, if you look at this point right here and this point right here my point is that white is tempted to go here uh, in which case i can go here go here and go there so that's one way Another way would be would go here and then go there and bishop take rook and I would so the bishop is trapped basically the bishop is trapped so that's the point of this one right here that's that's the point of that point right there. so a few moves deep which I suppose a master will be able to see but a non master uh, a fourteen hundred. Uh, which I'm playing sometimes do not see it half the time they see it half the time they don't but either way it doesn't matter so so this happens and then takes that one and then take this one and as you notice that one I'm threatening the queen so yes I win the bishop anyway it doesn't matter what happened I win the bishop anyway Next move. Take the bishop, and this is kind of like a useless move, really. It doesn't do anything. <coughs> On the surface of it, like, oh, white wins a pawn. But it really doesn't do anything. Because, you know, one, if one side takes this one, one side takes one, it's not going to help uh, white in any way in fact that's what the computer recommend the command recommends that I would do this and and then quintus. so that's what the computer recommends I don't want to do it that way again this is not a, a really crushing blow but it is very annoying because suddenly I'm attacking the white over here and I have a threatening to take the bishop for free over here so it's incredibly annoying so that's basically force practically force white to do this and suddenly oh wow look I have free bishop because that doesn't happen so this is a very forcing move very forcing combination another thing over here uh, that I disagree with computer recommends this part right here but why would I want to do that the computer is in a good square right here so I don't want to do that so I'll, I'll keep the net here now as I said before the knight attacking squares that are totally covered by a pawn and the knight but that's static and as soon as the net move I can do things differently so so that's why I do it with captured with the king and that's captured with the pawn otherwise the, the pawn will 
like that and this is a check I could have done things differently I could have uh, pushed the pawn here and have that so and move the net there so so that's also a good move over here but I did not do that I did this and again this is very annoying to white remember that when the knight move here it, it's an indication that white wants to castle well white is not castling now that <laughs> there is no way for white to protect the king to block the check over there so white is not castling at all so that so that's what some points to me so that makes all the previous combination exchanges worthwhile because black because white wants to castle and he cannot do it next move and start attacking again I could have done it with uh, this one right here with a pawn but I want to have a net over here very very strong attack and there you go so notice that white rook is completely solid there yeah not moving anywhere so yeah that's that's one of thing so capture capture uh, so obviously uh, you know white wants to let the rook go so when I captured this pawn the rook is not being basically blocked into there so stuck in there so in the corner so that's a good move right now here's another thing the computer suggested that I do this one and was not to like like very strong attack over here but I say nah I don't like that I don't like that move it's premature so I decided to just take the pawn immediately pre real estate now uh, the rook cuts this line over here over here so the knight cannot go back out right there but of course the knight can go back out right here and then right here and then right here treating that one over there and that one over there so or I can always push the pawn up over here and take that square and and if I do that then it's be it be a very very strong attack over there now once I did that then I move the bishop so yes the bishop this in this square is very strong and it's a good move but this one is more annoying to white so very very forcing in fact once I move, take this move white resign the game does not contain any after this one I did some more analysis over here that basically say what happened you know if I do this or that so this is the most promising continuation like over here uh, what is counter attacking and I just put the you know basically over here the check checking over here so the threat is that of course I do check but another threat is that once the rook is there it's basically actually the king to the pawn so so that's not very very strong attacking move there and and the computer suggested this way or maybe this way but this is useless move right I mean it doesn't do anything the king just go there and that's it now, like what's that's gonna do it, it basically just basically forced the rook to stay there in this in this file basically so yeah 
uh, that's not a good thing. And of course, rook takes and check and mid. So, so really, white does not have any leeway whatsoever. And if what does not maybe here, then I can do this. And then I take the pawn. So, you know, at this point in time, there's no point for white to keep playing anymore because it's done. And the knight here is extremely strong extremely strong right, position and of course what can bishop um, black bishop can only help so that's it uh, this is why I disagree with computer computer may make perfect move but I don't want to play perfect move I want to play fun move I want to play beautiful move so so this is a good game brilliant game and that's it for today I hope you enjoy it See you tomorrow.